Welcome to Knock Bro Nation. What's up, guys? Welcome, guys, to 2018 and our first comic review. First comic review of 2018 is a doozy. Yes, it is, <laughs> because, ladies and gentlemen, it is Thanos. Thanos wins. Wins. Number 15. Number 14. Number 14. <laughs> <laughs> our first screw up of 2018. <laughs> We Happy will New not Year, edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. Hope you had a good holiday, good New Year, and uh, let's just get this 2018 off to a good start. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, and and to a good start, we did because uh, it was another solid issue of Thanos 15. Um, 14. 14. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, we actually, want it to be. We want it to be issue fifteen already. After reading this, I do uh, because yeah, it was a great issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really cool. We get to see you know uh, just back and forth with uh, old man Thanos and new age Thanos and a backstory which was really cool. Yes, on his true name and his parentage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we left off the issue with Ghost Rider of all people uh, chaining up um, what appeared to be present day Thanos. Yes. Um, and dragging him to, fu to the future where he is then confronted or brought to um, a future self, a mm -hmm. future King Thanos, right. who is now ruler of, of the galaxy. He brings him to the universe. He brings him to Earth millions of years later. Yeah. Um, and what's funny is that I, I did a, I think on Twitter I did hashtag Ghost Rider and somebody corrected me. No, 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 no. This is Cosmic Ghost Rider. <laughs> and yes, you are correct. <laughs> he is Cosmic Ghost Rider. But anyway, it's Ghost Rider anyway. Whatever. But, uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, we get kind of a, a cool narrative, mm -hmm. which is basically Thanos you know, kind of discussing uh, where he comes from yeah. and his parents. And uh, I think he kind of mentions that, you know, what was it? His... Um, he was born it's, on the Saturn of uh, Titan. Yeah, the moon of uh, the moon the of moon of Saturn. Moon of Saturn, Titan. Um, yeah, and he was born from the ex the, the people called the Externals, mm -hmm. um, and, and basically he he was not born. Uh, he was born with the uh, the devious the the deviant um, gene. The deviant gene. Yeah, his eyes were yeah. you know he's purple of course. His mm -hmm. eyes are dead black, and um, his, his mother kind of like almost went insane after looking at him, looking yeah. deep into his eyes, gazing to the blackness of his eyes. Yeah. Um, which I thought was like a really interesting. Thing it to was say. sick because there was a panel <laughs> where there, like, his eyes are dark. Uh, kind of like a bluish black tint, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and inside the 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 hue of his eye was a galaxy and then a skull. A skull. Yeah. Um, uh, one main thing is she actually that we get from this little backstory is she actually didn't uh, plan on naming him Thanos. Thanos. Um, yeah. That was not the original name that she had picked out for him. Mm -hmm. um, but when she saw him, uh, something whispered into her ear. Uh, and that's when she, you know, blurted out the, the name, his his name, which was Thanos. Right. Um, yeah, very interesting to hear that backstory. So after saying, you know, your mother went insane just by gazing upon you, um, you know, you who wouldn't by who who wouldn't have known that you were giving birth to a god? <laughs> um, and then he goes on to say, well, then yes, and then in another way, I also I did I killed my own mother. Yeah, so that that would mom. drive any normal person right. crazy yeah. um so then we go i love the narrative here because it was like from there it escalated yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um obviously uh thanos thanos uh began to kind of experiment with his deviant gene mm -hmm. um just lots of torture it, yeah. poor man striving to be just evil he wanted to make people hurt he um, grew in strength he grew right. in intellect mm -hmm. um and and most importantly his cruelty grew his cruelty <laughs> just kept growing and then it kind of goes over some cool things like right. the infinity the infinity the the uh the the annihilation wars you uh -huh. know past arcs of right. previous comic stories yeah. um it shows glimpses of like uh thor the hulk captain yeah. america just showing all these you know different uh the prophecies his conquests his certain alliances that he did have but then of course that all goes to crap yeah because he's wanting to rule all and then death Yes. Uh, and then it says, you know, of course, death was always there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is cool because we all know that uh, Thanos was actually in love with Mistress Death, the physical form of death, Mistress Death. Mm -hmm. um, 
And it said, the next panel actually says, but death never came for Thanos. Yeah. That's awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Basically, he could never get to her, right? Right. Yeah, he couldn't get to her. Um, And we can kind of continue on, like we said, it's kind of showing his conquests and like showing Captain America and just continually saying his power grew, his grew, his vengeance grew. He became mad. His cruelty just kept pursuing, pursuing. And... um, basically like uh there's no more evil like an evil like a cancer cell he's so evil like even like a cancer cell couldn't survive thanos because he would just devour everything and that's his true purpose in life yeah i mean he was no they were basically making a comparison that like uh he he was no more evil than the actual cancerous cell itself right Mm -hmm. yeah um you know he became stronger and stronger as time went on um, and, and that's true to what we know of, of Thanos, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And I love this next part because it goes in talking about, um, you know, the Phoenix burns, the Galactus devours, the the Watchers watch, and the Celestials uh, judge. judge yeah. And we see Thanos standing over, looks like another superhero. At first I thought it was Captain America. I was like, no, it's not Captain America. But <laughs> there's just like all these bodies laying around and he like shoves this knife into this dude and just straight kills him. Yeah. I mean, it's just Thanos denies. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> and then Thanos wins. And Thanos wins. Thanos wins, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it, the, we get all this narrative before we jump back into present time well present time of future 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 Uh, you know (laughs) old man thanos (laughs) but it was really cool to get this um in there we saw galactus um Mm -hmm. uh, you know who we know is pretty powerful in in of himself Mm -hmm. uh so it was just cool to see that narrative and i loved how they did that in this issue yeah it was pretty sweet and so we like you said we get back to uh future thanos and he is speaking with uh you know he's speaking with uh previous present day thanos himself in, in, himself basically <laughs> yeah we're and... gonna call him old man thanos <laughs> right <laughs> and so we get a shot of uh young man thanos just completely just hitting old man thanos yeah just knocks him cold right man. he's I like mean, how, how dare you have me in chains and, and, and i, you know, I love bring this me we're gonna show this because it's, it's a <laughs> uh you know a two panel or two page uh, uh artwork here and it just says boom <laughs> <laughs> But he goes into saying, he's like, how dare you bring me here in chains and not expect me to just go all crazy all over you. Yeah. You know? (laughs) Um, And he he also says, I will not be called boy. Yeah, I will not be called boy. (laughs) Because old man Thanos keeps telling me, just listen here, boy. Yeah. Yeah, You're not going to call me boy. Now, what's interesting, too, is, you know, after he hits old man Thanos, uh, Ghost Rider comes up and says, hey, now, calm down. Uh, you know, <laughs> you're you're taking this way too far. Basically, right. you know, pleading with them, you know, take it easy there, buddy. Right. Um, and, and Thanos actually grabs him by his skull and is about to kill him. Uh, and Ghost Rider actually says, you know, laughs it off and says, look, dude, I'm pretty much dead already. Right. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. And that's when that's, and, and Thanos says before he grabs it, he's like, you know what? I really want to test this theory about you and death. I want to <laughs> see what I can do. Yeah. But Ghost Rider just keeps laughing off and says, look, man, you can't, I'm already dead. You can't kill me. Yeah. And then old man Thanos comes in and says, please. And this is what he says. No, please. Yeah, actually no, please. before, uh, you know, pr- uh, past thanos young right. thanos yeah. uh, is actually going to tr- attempt to kill ghost rider right and you see uh you know young thanos you know in a sense um his his face just turn and look in uh in awe like really you're you're asking please you're asking for my help because thanos doesn't believe that anyone just like in the previous issue how he killed that king he's like you're pleading for your life you're asking please no king should do that well, you're not a king and he sc- n- crushes a skull in not only that but at this point, young man Thanos thinks that this is trickery. Yeah, like, he doesn't think it's real. He doesn't think that this old man Thanos is actually him in the future. Right. He he is basically saying, "Who are you, deceive, trying to deceive me?" Right. Um, you know, and, and and furthermore, he gets more evidence that this is trickery by here's an old man Thanos basically saying, "Please, mm-hmm. no, please, I need your help," and Thanos does not do that right he does not ask for help right he does not say please and he punches him through the building again uh old man thanos young thanos punches old man thanos out the door basically um and he's like you are no king you are no thanos 
just from exactly what Josh was saying, yeah. you you know, you're pleading for help, you're asking for help, you're on your knees begging. If I you were Thanos, that. yeah, I would not be doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. nothing. That's something I would never do. So you are not me, <clears throat> and I am not you because you're pleading for help. Yeah. And what's really cool though is is we get you know a little bit of young Thanos coming out of old Thanos because when he gets hit, he laughs. Yeah. And, and he says <laughs> and he says magnificent like. Like he was happy to actually be hit <laughs> that hard, yeah. <laughs> and so young Thanos is, as we said, he's jumping at him, asking who he is, and then old man Thanos. We see this big flash of light, which pushes young Thanos just back mm -hmm. on his butt, and this is where old man Thanos gets up and he's like, "Look, you know, you talk too much for one thing. Yeah, you need to listen to me." And the 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 main thing that makes young Thanos listen is he uses a name. That only Thanos would Thanos Thanos would know, and that is his true given name. Yep. Which we're sorry, Donny Cates, if we pronounce this incorrectly, because you know how we do that. You know, God Country, we screw those names up. We <laughs> screw pretty much every name up that we don't know. We do not know how to pronunciate. Right. So it is D I O N E. I would think it is Dion. Dion. Yes, we're gonna go with Dion. Dion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, uh, his mother did tell him what his true name yep. was. Mm -hmm. uh, we get the sense from that little narrative that she did tell Thanos that look, uh, something whispered to me that told me to call you this, but I actually had plans to call you Dion. Dion. Yeah, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> Please comment below if we got that incorrect. Yeah. But anyway, um, they won't know. Well, they might. No. <laughs> but um, the name is only spoken to him, and you see the look on young Thanos' face. I love this look. And he's just, like, it, dumbfounded. You don't it, see any wrinkle of hatred in his eyes. You see, like... Yeah, there, just, there is no anger. There is no hatred. Uh, there, There is no, you know, just uh, intimidating look. Right. Uh, it is basically a look of... Uh, I want to say sympathy, but, like, it, it was... Right. It but, was it was crazy. Yeah, I, it, the panel was awesome. I love that look. And and the and the and the real kicker is is that the reason that he knows that name is that she spoke that name the day she died, the day that Thanos killed her. Yeah. So, you know, only, only he's only gonna know. Thanos yeah. is gonna know yeah. that. So so this obviously is the the time where he says or he's probably thinking to himself, okay. This is real. Right. Uh, this isn't trickery. This isn't something that's that that uh, you know is being. I'm not being fooled here. This is truly me in the future. Right. He's like, this isn't some weird alien of himself, you know, <laughs> projecting to be me. Um, so he's finally calmed down and he's listening. And old man Thanos is asking for help. He's like, look, I am looking for someone. Um, I'm I've lost somebody, and I need your help to find this person. Now, I I think in the narrative we also get something along the lines of where he's basically conquered everything he's he, he's basically alone. alone old man thanos he's has alone. conquered it all so there's i think yeah i think maybe the narrative may have been coming from ghost rider as well kind of giving that narrative or even talking to himself that yeah i've conquered everything there's nothing left to conquer it's all it's all conquered and it's so, all me it's all uh, me. and he's alone yeah. I, I get the sense that you know, the, the the reason why he brings up what he brings up next is because he's alone. Right. <laughs> and we don't get a name, but young Thanos asks, who are you looking for? Just the word who. And old man Thanos says, who do you think? And in the background is a massive statue of... In the middle of a red river. Red river, maybe blood or something. I don't know. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, Mistress... Death. <laughs> Freaking awesome. So good. So good. I am so I we love we love this. As yeah. you can tell, we absolutely love yeah. it. Yeah, and we're um, not really big superhero kind of comic book readers. Not really. I mean the, the biggest kicker, yes, so drew us in was Donnie Cates. We love Donnie yep. Cates and everything that, you know, we're pretty much reviewing. And I am a Thanos fan. I am I, I am like a Thanos, Thanos fan. You know, I I've been big into Marvel. I got out of it a long time ago, but um, I've always liked Thanos and uh, and Ghost Rider, of course. But um, just the writing, the artwork in here is the storytelling is amazing. Yeah, it's really, really. Yeah, good. it's really captivating. Yeah, honestly. And um, from what I've been seeing on online is that this this continues to sell out. I think this issue just got sold out again. And, and it, it rightfully should, guys. <laughs> I mean, 
it, 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 from 14, from 13, I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from 13, I could not wait for issue 14 to come out. I mm. could not wait. And I'm the same way with issue 15. I cannot wait for 15 to come out because this story is awesome. We yeah. got a lot of back story from Thanos. Oh, yeah. But there's also a lot that we don't know. Like, um, and I don't know, was it, you read 1 through 12, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. One through twelve. Does it show him conquering the the world? Mm-mm. No. Okay. No. So they're basically opened up to him conquering everything, and that's what's so intriguing about it is maybe right. will we get some more of that backstory of how he conquered everything? Right. Because I mean we don't know you know because of how one through twelve went. Um, that was pretty much it. That was the end for that writer. He finished his story. That was it. Yeah. So Donny Cates is taking over. We don't know which route he's going to go. We have no. We, we, we've gotten I mean, here. You now he's in. He's in the future now, where Thanos has taken over everything, and he's asking to find you know uh, you know Lady uh, Mistress Death. Mistress Death. So we might just okay. Maybe Ghost Rider will take him back in time. And that, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, like, like, you change things in the past, we'll change the future. So. We have no idea. I mean, a freaking Ghost Rider showed up. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> and we do yeah. know that there is a, a uh, Infinity Gem, Infinity Stone, whichever one you want to call it, it is a gem, uh, show up in issue 13 because Ghost Rider had a chunk of it that allowed him to go through time. Right. The time so stone, yep. my question is, is the Infinity Gauntlet involved here? Did mm-hmm. he use that to conquer the universe? Right. Um, it, very interesting, and I cannot wait. We if, can't wait. Maybe we'll get more of that. Maybe we won't. Either way, it's an awesome story. It's an awesome read, guys. So let us know if you have picked up Thanos, and if you have been reading it, uh, let us know if, if you did read the previous writers' uh, 1 through 12 issues, and um, your thoughts on this, because we are absolutely just uh, dumbfounded that, you know, we, we just love it. Yeah. We can't say much more than that. <laughs> yeah. I, it's awesome, guys. Check it out if you haven't picked it. If you haven't read it yet, definitely pick it up at your local shop, digital, read it. It's amazing. Yes, guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Hit that like button if you like what you saw. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And come back for more Thanos coming at you. We are Knockbro Nation. We're We're out. out.